At the beginning of the film, we are introduced to a vicious loan shark named Bart. His way of collecting money from the debtors is quite unique and ruthless. Bart has been training a man named Danny as a dog for his entire life. Ever since Danny was little, he has been locked in a cage, fed dog food, and trained to obey. His mental capacity is that of a child, as he doesn't know how to speak or act other than what is taught to him. Danny has a special dog collar around his neck at all times. While he is wearing it, he is harmless, but as soon as the collar comes off, he turns into an unleashed, aggressive dog and kills anyone who is troubling his master. Bart is merciless to Danny. He frequently beats and insults him, but since Danny doesn't know any better, he thinks the abuse is a form of affection. One day, after a long day of beating people up for money, Bart brings Danny home. A man notices that his forehead is bleeding and hands him a bandage, but Danny is so naive that he doesn't understand the purpose of it. He simply goes back to his cage and starts punching a bag. He also has a first grader's book that he uses to entertain himself. He learns a few new words and shows great interest in learning. The following day, they continue the routine of threatening the debtors. One of their targets is a wealthy businessman who owes Bart a lot of money. He is not like the typical people they deal with because he knows about the collar trick. To prevent Bart from triggering Danny, they pull Bart away before he can take the collar off. They beat him up while Danny watches in confusion, unsure what he should do. Bart struggles and manages to take his collar off in the end. This triggers the beast in Danny, and he fights and finishes the enemies in no time. His unusual fighting skills don't go unnoticed by a man standing nearby. His name is Wyeth, and he is the organizer of an underground fight match. When he looks at Danny, he sees an opportunity to earn a lot of money. After the debtor is beaten half to death, Bart gets his money and comes outside. Although Danny saved his life, the man is furious that he didn't save him when he was getting beaten. He calls Danny an unworthy animal, overlooking the fact that that he is the reason behind Danny's behavior. For the last destination of the day, they stop at an antique warehouse. To be sure that the last trick won't be repeated again, Bart asks Danny to stay in the warehouse while keeping a close eye on an alarm. When it glows red, he is asked to come inside and help Danny and his henchmen. As Danny waits, he sees a piano in a corner of the room. He remembers seeing it in the book and is fascinated by it. He presses a few keys when a blind pianist comes into the room. His name is Sam, and he is here to tune the piano. Upon seeing that Danny is interested in playing it, Sam helps him. It is a foreign experience for Danny, because he hasn't been treated with kindness ever in his life. Throughout the interaction, Danny doesn't say anything, but Sam doesn't seem to care. To help him focus, he asks Danny to listen to the ticking sound. 